Hey guys, welcome back to GTA 5. I hope you are enjoying the playthrough so far. I just love it, but you already know that. We've only got one mission on the map to do with Michael, but before we get into that, I would like to check out what a hangout looks like with Michael and Franklin or anyone else that we have to hang out with, with Michael. So let's go ahead and do that actually. Can, it, it is late at night. Is Franklin even available to hang out? I guess it's only, like, is it 10.30? Franklin! Hey, kid. So, you want to keep an old man company? <laughs> yeah, all right. I could kick it with you again. Great. Oh. I'm on my way. Nice. All right. Um, let's go. Where is Franklin? There he is. Oh, look! I love that Michael is actually right next to our next mission point, And he's probably wondering why we're not going to do that <laughs> but no sorry michael we are going to hang out with franklin first i wonder if there are other options for hanging out that we didn't have with amanda all we had with her was drinking and tennis so i'm guessing there may be a little bit more things opened up for Hanging out with Franklin? Oh, he's at his house. Oh, that's nice. I like that he's at his house. Hey. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Where do you want to go? What do we, do we have things? Oh, it's just drinking and the strip club. I think we'll just go for a drink then in that case. I thought we'd be able to do other things like movies. Hey, or... good to see you, man. Hmm. Okay. It's good seeing you, man. Socially, I mean. Yeah, you too, kid. I guess I've uh, I've been kind of lonely. You know, I mean, I love living here, but I never made too many friends. I've been kind of stuck in my head. Mm. I'll get you. Yeah, you will. Just wait until you're my age. <laughs> you got nothing but bad choices and worse choices behind you. And mistakes you haven't made yet, but know you're gonna make ahead of you. Yeah, you'll remember then. Mm. Jesus, sounds heavy. What happened? My old life. I was living in the Midwest, you know, up to absolutely no good. Then Amanda <laughs> gets pregnant, she gets pregnant again. Suddenly I got two kids and I'm running with maniacs. I was in a difficult position. Had to make some choices. And? And I did it. Got on with my life. That's that. Oh, you know what? I wonder if he's referring to that difficult choice with what happened that we saw way back in the beginning with the with the funeral for the old Michael. You know, I All right, let's go. <laughs> I, I'm just glad the drunk thing doesn't last for long. <laughs> Shenanigans bar. Oh man, I am drunk as fuck. I hear you, man. Shit, I'm fucking drunk. <laughs> oh god, my stomach hurts. <laughs> my kidneys hurt. <laughs> hurts. My eyes hurt. I can't feel my arm. I don't like myself here. Alright, oh. this shit ain't fun at all. Shut up, man. Stop moaning. Shit, you're giving me a headache. <laughs> I gotta stop drinking. Maybe I should go to meetings. Yeah, you should go someplace. Any place but here. <laughs> <laughs> ah, screw you. Don't pit. I will not be pitied. <laughs> that wasn't actually too bad. I like that conversation. Come on, come on, Franklin. We both sobered up very quickly. I'll <laughs> take you home, buddy. That was cool. I really liked getting that tiny, tiny snippet of oh, backstory with what happened with Michael when Amanda got pregnant, the two kids, because yeah, his kids are very close in age, quite quite similar so she must have had two close pregnancies there 
And then that's when he just he must have decided to walk away. Nine years ago though. That the beginning. I'm just trying to piece all this together. Listen, There's kid, so much we don't close. know. If I could teach you one thing, just one thing, you know what that would be? Uh, uh how to plan a job properly? How to stay calm? How to not regret mistakes. You gotta learn how to move on. Because you will make mistakes. Hurt people, kill people. It happens. It's life. All of life. Not just this life. If you know what I mean. But you gotta move on. That's the greatest skill. Otherwise, you might as well be dead yourself. And have you moved on? <laughs> that I do not know. Move on. Move on from your mistakes. That is really good advice. Nice to hang out. <laughs> Bye, Franklin. Hi, right, brother. See you later. For real, man. See you soon. That's nice. I really liked that. I'll definitely have to do more of that because that was very, very enjoyable. Just hanging out with Franklin. I, I liked it. But now we are going to get into business. We are going to go and see Lester. Which is... If you guys remember back a couple of episodes, we called up Lester after Martin Madrazo came for a visit and beat Michael up with a baseball bat, saying that we owe him two and a half million dollars. I see something on the little map here, a red dot, which I'm going to go and do. I'm just a lowly agent. I ain't playing here. Hand it over. I didn't do anything to you, please. Do you want to die over this, bitch? Should I kill no, this guy? Let... Wait. I'll kill you. I will fucking kill you. Ah! There you go. Okay. <laughs> um. Okay. I guess she didn't like that um my reasoning was that if I just stood around like I normally do not doing anything thinking too much that guy would kill her he would pop her in the head and I didn't want that to happen because of me being too slow but now I feel that I shouldn't have done that because probably extra dialogue would have happened or something because I don't think that she's just meant to be running away like that I think that went a bit wrong but that's okay we we learn we learn and we we have saved her in case he did end up killing her so it's all good so yes as I was saying we need to go and see Lester who is the old friend that <laughs> that Michael was talking about after he got beat up by Mr. Madrazo we need to f somehow find two and a half million dollars to repay Mr. Madrazo for pulling pulling that uh, pulling that house down that didn't actually belong to the tennis coach. It was Natalie, I think her name was. So that is why we're here, I guess. Michael is in need of money. this little house I think so be aware the owners of this property will have any unauthorized vehicles towed away at the driver's expense that's my car <laughs> beware of dog no trespasses warning cameras operate oh I am nervous I'm nervous <laughs> hey Lester you gonna let me in or what oh, I love minutes. it <laughs> Oh, okay, he's unlocked the door. Wow. This is another part where I'm going to be so annoying because I need to look at this home. I need to look. What's the deal with that gate there over that door? What is that? I think that actually leads into the garage, doesn't it? Oh, no, no, okay. And what? 
that gate is just is strange. What's that? I can't get in there. I was wondering when you'd show up. I was dead. Praise be. Guess you weren't very dead. You need my help. How do you know? Because you came here. Why else would you? <clears throat> I haven't been a good friend for you, Lester. I know that. And you're going to make it up to me by doing whatever I ask. Or rather, I, I mean, I need something done. You need to know something, so why not help each other? I got to make some dough. So you're back in the game? I guess. Look, Lester, about what happened before. Well, I know you never mentioned my name. I know I'm not on any lists anywhere. I know you never betrayed me. As for you, you got to figure that I never told anyone. That instead of gently decomposing in North Yankton, you're angrily decomposing in Los Santos with a shrink and a wife who don't love you no more. Yeah. yeah well, <laughs> since you put it like that... Hey, shut up a minute. I'm getting an eye-find alert. That little college boy sack of shit phony fuck. Who? Jay Norris? Yes. That fuck is a lying bastard. I've read his fucking emails. He's a fucking cheat. I heard him say that he saved America. What, by but outsourcing all the jobs? By selling us little bits of plastic restricted access shit? Well, now it's payback time, you lying turd. What the hell are you talking about? You are about to get that white-collar gig that you always dreamed of, Mikey. Here, take this uh, fashionably retro weird for a 45-year-old man, but I cannot let go of the 1980s bag, <laughs> and dress yourself up like a billionaire math genius with low-level Asperger's. You better be ready for the minor glitch of your repulsive pseudo-messianic life. Okay, Lester. Get out of here! Call me when you're ready. We are about to put the Darwinism back in social Darwinism. And brother, it is gonna be fun. You fucking kidding me? I'm a bank robber, not a web designer. So we'll go <laughs> robbing soon. I'll, I'll find something. Just like the old days. <laughs> Amazing. That was so good, Lester. I I need to talk to him Please more. Please excuse me. I've got something shameful to do. <laughs> like what? <laughs> okay, so I'm taking it that what we saw in the beginning first mission Was there something else? Was that that robbery and a lot of other robberies, Lester and Michael actually worked together with that. And then when Michael decided you something, but you were just leaving. Decided to retire in a way. He never really contacted. He never stayed in contact with Lester at all. As much as I love catching up. <laughs> I am very curious about Lester's home. He has a lot of bits and pieces laying around. Please Hacking excuse me. The system. I've got something shameful to do. Look, I'm just, I'm looking at what you have here, Lester. I'm very curious about your home. Was there something else? Yes, I'm looking. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at all this stuff. Hang on, hang on. I need to read his, um... His messages. Government don't want me to know this. This I'd was offer you something, over 50 you years ago. Leaving. 88 miles per hour. Time travel? <laughs> what? Oh, Lester is so funny. Okay. As much as I love catching up. <laughs> I know, I know. Computer viruses, zombie outbreaks, assassinations. All right, I'm going. I just, I had to look. I can't help Please it. Excuse I me. need to look. I've got something shameful to do. All right. I could spend so long looking at bits and pieces in his house. I, I love, I love looking at stuff like that. Okay, so we are going to... Actually, I've got to be totally honest with you. I don't even know what Lester has asked us to do. I didn't really understand what he was saying but I know that we've been given a backpack and I also know that Michael thinks it's some sort of 
web design thing. So I am very curious to actually find out what it is. And I don't know who Jay Norris is that Lester and Michael mentioned. So this is going to be interesting. So I have no idea what on earth we're getting up to. Can I make any calls while I'm here? Can I actually call Lester on my way? Okay. Look, I, I'm still learning about the phone calls. You guys know that I loved that in GTA 4 to ring up like Roman all the time, stuff like that. But I still haven't worked out the secret here yet. People just don't seem to pick up very often. This place is all right, so we're here we're at the clothing store. I, I love clothes. I'm very happy to be here. Ah, excuse me. I got this interview at this tech company. I'm thinking I need something, I don't know, geeky, <laughs> youthful. Lost your job and the world's moved on, huh? That's too bad. I didn't lose my job. <laughs> of course. Got too old, got outsourced. Same thing happened to my dad. <laughs> now you gotta fit in with a different generation. Huh? What about a vest and some cargo shorts? Right. A vest and some cargo shorts. Okay. Um, okay. There are a few things to pick from here. I could just stand here all day and look at the clothes. I'll try not to take a long time, but I love it. Look, I'm I'm leaning towards that one because the yellow is actually kind of nice and bright on him. I also like that one because, you know, classic sort of brown neutral colors, but I like this. I like that pop of yellow, so I think I'm going to grab that. Dignity aside, I think that might just work. It's lovely. Good luck at the interview. Hang on, where's... Goodbye. I need the pants. Hang on, I thought she said buy cargo shorts. Well, I guess I do... I have shorts on. Oh, can I not buy anything else? Please. I want to so badly. All right, I guess we don't. Michael? I'm all dressed up. Now, you want to run me through this thing? The prototype is somewhere in the Life Invader office. Find it and fit it with the device in your bag. Okay. They just gonna let me in? Why wouldn't they if you look the part? Hang around till someone opens the door and act entitled. <laughs> Fine. Okay, we can do that. We can do that indeed. Let's do it. So, Life Invader. Let's go. I, I am still sad because I wanted some new shorts, but that is okay. I think now that we've been in the clothing store, maybe the clothing store will unlock for us going forward because I, I need that. Oh, there it is, Life Invader. Go to the rear entrance. Oh, we look good. That bag is act it actually looks really good. Let's do this. Oh, we need to wait. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, hey. Oh, great. Ugh, PM's pushing for more <laughs> functionality. <laughs> but we are maxed. I mean, if anything, we have to strip features, especially if we plan on releasing a fully yeah. priced update a year later. Oh, my. You know, it's. Yeah, well, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. You know? I mean, we're talking beta in Q4, maybe Q3. Look, milestones are one thing, but when design is changing its mind yeah. seemingly overnight, there's not much you can do about it. You Look, know what I'm saying? Uh, my union allocated smoke breaks bad up, so... Wait a minute. Do I know you? <laughs> yeah, I think so. I, I, I T-temp, right? Yeah. You know, you gotta do something for me. Ah, uh, you gotta put it in a ticket. Oh, uh, no. I'd like to keep this one out of the database, if you know what I mean. Nice. 
Yoga Zone Tech Stop Sweat Lodge. Oh, I can't go I'm turning consultant when we release. Consulting consulters. This is so cool. I love this. I want to look around. Oh. Hi. Oh, hi. Oh, Chill look at this beanbag. office. This will be right out. Oh, um, I'm going to take a normal chair. I have a terrible back. Really? The brief was for a relaxed, creative individual, the kind that preferred a beanbag over a real chair. But if you're so bound to social restraints... No, 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 no. I'm not restrained at all. I'll, I'll, I'll take a seat. <laughs> I want to see him sit down. Yeah. See? <laughs> hey. You're relaxed already. Let the creative juices flow. I don't think he I don't think he He's likes that lady. He has a sore back. Are you okay? <laughs> I, I want to see him do something else. <laughs> he doesn't like the bean bags. Oh, the poor dude. Ah, oh, this is so cool. What does this guy want there us to go. do? If you guys let me use the OS I requested, this wouldn't be a problem. Oh, we don't know what to do. This is a filthy hard drive, bro. Oh. Uh, got any antivirus software? Okay. I think so. Behind this junk oh, on the left. Oh, no. Clicked an NSFW link, bro. <laughs> Bit me on the ass. How am I going to yeah, get rid of Yeah, not safe for work, huh? You know, my son's computer runs into the same kind of problems. I'll close the pop-ups. Virus. See what I can do. Ant and eater. now we scan. Scanning. Oh no! Do I have to close all that too? <laughs> you want a massage? Cause my hands are free. <laughs> what? These hacker kids always come up with a new way to screw the network in the ass. <laughs> Exterminate. There we and go. That should do it. Why don't you try and keep things strictly safe for work from now on? Hey, have you seen the prototype in the demo room? When Norris announces it at the keynote, minds are gonna blow. Yes, they are. Nice, we actually made it here. Make the prototype. <laughs> okay, this is life in in the IT department, is it? <laughs> You got a college education. Do this. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking too. <laughs> Jay thinks being a quirky douche boosts creativity. <laughs> He's this close to installing a ball pit. He's become such a cop. <laughs> if we don't keep smiling, the cameras will pick it up and we'll be outsourced to Molly. <laughs> nice this to is so you, Fun, free thinking tag. Oh, look, I'm not paying attention. I'm just looking around everywhere. Okay, I think it's in this room. I can see the green dot. I'm just having way too much fun. Oh, here we go. Nice, nice. Come on, Michael. Oh, nice. Does he know how to do this? Apparently so. Wow. We actually did it. Oh, they're having That's a party a in there now, too. Making history, dude. Hey, what? and we couldn't do it without the little guys. <laughs> Goodbye. What are you doing with your arms? <laughs> what are you doing? I don't understand what that guy is doing. Okay, see is. They don't do anything. Sit is this guy sit still sit sitting sit on the chair? Right, yes, right. he is. Ow. <laughs> Come on. You're going to have to learn the foot bag if you want to get a job here, okay? Follow me. Okay. Oh. How's your air guitar? Oh. Uh... <laughs> All right, follow me. Okay. Oh, no. Uh, look, I have to follow because I want to see what's happening. What's gonna happen with these guys? This new guy must have been coding analog machines. Oh, they're just gonna go into the meeting room, I think. Nothing happens. Nothing happens, right? And this is why it takes me so long 
to play this because I want to just see everything. I'm so curious. The guy with the bad back that sat on the beanbag, I'm so curious about what was going to happen to him. <laughs> drank my effing head milk there was a totally non-passive aggressive note on it <laughs> if i drown in mucus it's your fault you illiterate effing seas wow so it, has that got normal milk in it then she's not gonna like that she's not gonna like that okay well that's not our problem we've been here, done what we needed to do for Lester. Oh, this is the front exit. Okay. Well, where are oh, this? Okay. Okay. Let's go. Let me get the door for you. Thanks. That was so easy. Watch the keynote at Michael's house. Okay. Well, where's my, where's my car? I know it doesn't matter. I can just take any car. I know this. Hey, Michael, hold on, hold on. Doomed! I doomed you! Lester, the Dang. thing's in the prototype. I'm going home to watch the keynote. Teabag time, my friend! Lester, did you hear me? <laughs> oh, he's gaming. Are you playing that game? <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry, the phone is rigged. Now, what's your problem? You don't like shooters? They're all the same. Besides, you know me. I'm a movie guy. Classic Vinewood. Classic Vinewood ended 30 years mm. ago. Now it's just superheroes, romantic comedies, and remakes, none of which interest me. Hey, I believe this country can still make interesting movies. There's no better way to define American life than a two hour plot in which the hero <laughs> looks good and defeats <laughs> evil. Ah, uh, whatever you say, enjoy yesterday. Mm. Anyway, just call the device after he's unveiled it, and then we'll talk. Oh. All right. I like I like what Michael was saying. I feel that he he does have that nostalgic side to him. He just wants things to be the way that they used to be, which is understandable when his whole life is falling apart. He just wants things to go back to the way that he remembers they were and when times were happy. I'm sorry, Michael. We might get there. We might get there. So we need to go and watch the keynote at home and then call the phone. Alright. We are now home. Is our family here? Oh, it's... Oh, okay. Our family is here. Oh my God, you guys are so lame. Out. No, I'm watching Fame or Shame. Oh, fucking tits. Give me finals continue. Wow. Wow, you could have done that better, Michael. I mean, that's your fault. Um, okay. Please welcome Mr. Jay Norris to the stage. It's this. All right. Wait for Jay Norris to pull out the prototype phone and then give him a call. Hey. This company has come a long way since we started it in my parents' pool house in East Carraway. Today, you're about to witness a new phase. Full-on, weapons-grade, red alert, world domination. We have put a billion people's private data in the public domain, and we have milked every penny we could in the process. And we have one of the youngest workforces in the world. An average age of only 14.4 years? That's not just impressive, it's revolutionary! Today, right here, we're about to make the next step. Prepare to witness the future. The Life Invader mobile device. When do I pull out yes, my phone? Yes, we've invented something no one else has ever thought of. A small, personal, computerized device. Now you're going to be able to stay docked 24-7.
Hold on a Fuck second. You. I think someone's trying to talk with me. Hello? Hello? <gasps> oh! Get ah! Oh, Jesus! Whoa! No, 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 Let's... Whoa! Whoa. Wow. Wow. Uh, okay. I took, oh my gosh, look, I took 20 minutes in that. This is my problem. <laughs> it takes so long. Um, Michael can change clothes at, in his bedroom. I know, I probably will get him out of this jacket, honestly. Les, that was heavy. Are you watching the news? I don't have to. I'm watching the markets. I'll be trading pure alpha till close. All right. Hey, about that other thing. You know, the score. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Put on a suit, look somewhat professional, and meet me at my warehouse off the LS freeway. Oh, uh, and I'm about to email you a link for the exchange. You can put in some trades of your own. I'm trying to stay off the day trading. Uh, but maybe I'll take a look. Thank you. Look, uh, questions. Why is my Michael's beard was all, it's all gray in one area? <laughs> Maybe it's just the sunlight reflecting on that part of him. <laughs> um, you know what? There, you actually can uh, trade stocks, which I don't know a lot about, but it's something that I would like to play with. But I am actually wondering if perhaps I should have Tragic device explosion kills life invader. Look, I'm wondering, see, I don't have anything in my portfolio, but I'm wondering the life invader stocks, would that have plummeted? It's down 50%. You know what? Would that not be a bad time to buy stocks in that? But I don't have enough money. I've only got like, how much money do I have? Stocks take a wild turn. The market went into free fall. Mm. See, I don't, I don't know enough about the stocks. Maybe that's something that I can look into. I'm just trying to bring up how much money I have. I've got 6,800, which is not enough to, um, to do a lot of trading at the moment. But Lester did say to get into a suit. So I'm I'm in my suit now, even though I'm not going to go and do Lester's mission straight away. So if, but then what, what else are we going to do? We don't really have anything else to do. It's just Lester. <laughs> We've really caught up, like crazy we've caught up. I think I will just quickly go and have a look at Franklin and just see what's happening over there. I don't, oh, he's washing his car. That's so nice. Good job. See, we don't really have anything to do either here. I mean, I could happily just drive around and do nothing, but I don't want to do that and just have it be boring for you guys. Though I do know that I think I have to call Tonya again. Me and JB getting clean, but JB fiending back sick as a dog. Can you do one more job for us? Sure. We'll do it. Franklin! <laughs> What's poppin'? <laughs> You get my text. You sound messed she up. She doesn't sound like nah, she's getting I clean. Nah, I the pipe. JB too. For real this time. Can you cover one more job, yeah, boo? Just till he get out of the sickness. God damn it. Okay, last time. I don't believe that this is going to be the last time. And also, I'm very concerned about what she sounded like uh, she said in her message that she's getting clean right but she does not sound anywhere near clean at all to me 
but we'll do this because Franklin is he's a good kid I really like him so we are gonna go and do this for her and JB who we've never seen I actually really love how they change her clothes just randomly I think that's a really nice touch Yeah, I'll take that. 10 4. Copy that. Clear after you. Nice. All right, let's go. Go to the broken down car. Okay. Get out of the way. It's not a crossing. Well, it might be, but I wasn't. I, I don't really care. They can just get out of the way. I really enjoyed that last mission with Lester. But the detonating the phone, I was not expecting that at all um <laughs> i i guess we've why did lester do that what was his reasoning behind that i don't know i don't know what his reasoning was behind that he did seem to he does seem to have like a lot of conspiracy theory posters and you know things like that and all this warning signs at the front of his house perhaps he just didn't like how the life invader company who I assume is a play on Facebook he may not have liked how they monitor so much of people's private information because Lester does seem like a very very private individual so we are over in West Vinewood which is sort of around Michael's sort of area. I know he's sort of in Vinewood. Oh, that's, um, okay. That's our job there. Okay. Let's do Finally. it. I called you people like an hour ago. Get in. Well, uh, these things take time, okay? Drop me off at a repair shop and one that's not going to charge me a small fortune. I'm not in charge of that. I am not in Seriously charge. Seriously unacceptable response time. I'm just saying. Shit, you can get out and walk if you don't like it. Exactly! Whoa, simmer down, buddy. I'm not blaming you, per se. You're just the little man. I know that. I'm just saying, there has to be accountability. Not at the drudge level, but up top. I keep posting negative reviews online, and it's like nobody reads them. I know <laughs> they don't. I get daily stats. You know, <laughs> I've been towed three times in the last month, and the quickest response was 47 minutes. I'm what? just saying, maybe they need a new system. Or maybe you need a new car. Exactly. Like Getting I told say, so much. I'm not blaming you. My problem's with the mule driver, not the mule. Enough. All right, you mm. need to shut the hell up, homie. Mm, mm, mm. You do. You're annoying. I'm here now. I couldn't get here any quicker. Oh, did you see that guy in the bike? <laughs> that was so funny. But yeah, if he's getting towed three times in the last month, he needs a new car. He doesn't need a new tow car service. I actually really hope that this this mechanic rips him off. I don't really fancy this guy too much. Well, we made it. There. I won't mention you on the complaint form. Thanks. Now I can't get out. <laughs> Franklin, what's cracking? Not your ass, I hope. <laughs> I covered that job, all right? Now stay off the rock. You oh. feel me? I'm high on life now, baby. It's a new dawn. <laughs> okay, so I think that's... I think that's it. I think... Still pulling favours. Well, how... I'm doing really well at that. But I do hope that, that there is a good outcome for... What's her name? Tonya? I think it's Tonya, isn't it? Tonya, yeah. Can I call anybody? Oh, it says I can call Jimmy. Nice. Hey, this J to the D to the S. Holla at me. <laughs> oh. Oh, come on. It said I could call him. And you go and do that? Man. That's just... 
that just makes me sad. All right, well, I don't know. We'll guess we'll go back to Michael. We'll see what our boy's getting up to over here. Where is he now? And what is he doing? He's just sitting there. Look, I find Michael to be so sad. I adore him, but I'm really worried about... I'm just worried about him. Is he dead? I didn't kill him, but I should have. Well, he isn't answering his cell, and he didn't show at the tennis club. Well, he must have skipped town, as he should have. Next time I'll run your street skank out of L.S. <laughs> I bring one to the house and ask you to pay? You're more than welcome. Oh, wow. So that phone call obviously should have... I should have called up her after I tore that guy's house down. But you know what? I'm pretty sure that I did call Amanda up when I, when I brought his house down. I'm just going to see if anyone else picks up here. D-Unit. Sup? Just checking in. Hey, I know I've been kind of busy lately, but I wanted to see if you were okay. I'm terrible. The common routine of having a cranky alcoholic slumped in front of the TV or passed out on a sun lounger is completely evaporated. I don't even know what to do with myself. Haha, uh -huh, very funny. I'm not saying you are, but if you are robbing and probably killing again, can you please not get shot or arrested in the house? It'd be really embarrassing. Well, maybe if you were working, I wouldn't have to. <laughs> Interesting. What about our daughter, Tracy? After her incident. You got Tracy, D to the S. Leave it on the town. <laughs> no, they just... Okay, okay. Well, look, guys. I think I will. I think I will go and do this next one for Lester. I just, I feel like it and I want to do it. So that's what we're going to do. Oh, we just got an email from him. Michael. It might be a good time to start making some moves on the stock market. Here's a link to the market to get you, get you started. Buy low, sell high. Well, obviously. Obviously. But then who, who do we... Wow, it's crashed. The market has honestly crashed. I'm going to be honest here, guys. The stock market is something I'm very, very interested in. But it's probably not something that I'll spend a lot of time doing when I'm recording. This is probably something that I may be able to do when I'm just chilling and wanting to muck around on the game myself at nighttime or on the weekends or things like that. And then I can, you know, spend some time discovering what to do with the stock market, how to make money that way. And that's probably going to just be like a bit, a bit better for me to do it that way. So I will probably, well, definitely invest in the stock market, but more in my own time, I'm thinking. So that's something that I want to do but probably not on camera like this may be actually really good to invest in like the life invader because like it's down so low i don't know if i should actually buy some you know what why not it's down so low i'll just buy a couple it's gotta it's gotta it's gotta increase eventually right Okay, yep, yeah, I'll just do this in my own time, but please know that I definitely will be doing something like that. And I probably will also need to look up a guide, maybe, and just to, just so I can get the best sort of investment return. Who's this? Yeah, who's this? It's Ricky from Life Invader. I know you're the bro who deactivated Jay, bro. How? <laughs> oh, I have no idea what you're talking about, no. pal. What you do's your business, bro. Anyway, Jay really got a big head once people started calling him a god. Guess you proved he wasn't one. They reintegrated my team in Burundi after the design got signed off. 
And now, my shares ain't worth dick. Sorry about that. I need work. And I thought maybe you could provide. I mean, I'm smart enough to track you down, aren't I? Oh. I guess you are. Hey, I'll be in touch if anything comes up. At least he wasn't... At least he didn't, like, blackmail us. So, heist crew member Ricky Lukens unlocked. So he may be actually really good for, like, IT sort of tech stuff, I think. Okay, well, I'm happy to work with him, I guess. I'm happy, I'm happy. Oh, I was on my way to Lester's. See a blue dot? I need it. Oh, that's um. Oh, I see. When attacking security van, damage the center of the rear doors to open them. Okay. <laughs> we'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. Why not? Uh oh, this is bad. <laughs> Why have I done this? <laughs> oh no. Why? 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 Why have I done this? I don't know. I saw the van. I just thought, you know what? There's money in that. There's money in that. I need money. I need to buy clothes. Get out. Alright, cool. We now have a... a van. Um, I don't know what... I'm going to do with this van. It's very slow. This is a problem. <laughs> this thing is extremely slow, guys. I don't know what to do when it's so slow. I'm just going to keep going and see if I can sort of outrun the police a little bit. They just need to go away, basically. Look, I don't even know what's in the back of this van. But I want to know. And we are going to find out because... I have almost... But then if I start shooting at the back of this van... I'm going to have the cops on me again, right? I might need to go somewhere private so I can crack open this van. without getting found out. Uh oh, there's a cop up ahead. Okay, so now we've lost the police. Huh. We've lost the police. I've got a security van for unknown reasons. What should I do? <laughs> I've done this. Oh, I don't know why I've done this. I thought it was um, money. Oh no. I've got the cops on again. Well, this is bad. This is really bad. Can I hide down here? Probably not. Oh no, don't look, don't look, don't look down here. Nobody's here, I promise, don't look. Nope, don't come down, don't come down, don't come down. I don't actually think that they see me. I think this might be okay. Oh no, oh he sees me. <laughs> well... I do not even know why I'm persisting with this. I don't know what the deal is with this fan. It had a blue dot on it. I wanted it, right? There was a blue dot on it? 
Look, you're gonna get killed. Cause now I'm stuck. I'm stuck in this stupid van. I'm gonna die. <laughs> died damn it well i don't know why i did that <laughs> i just wanted the van i wanted to make it mine okay well we died what happens when we die does it cost money three hundred dollars oh amanda don't touch me. what's wrong oh, you don't have to call to tell me that <laughs> not you the dieter sack store detective there's been a misunderstanding. I need you to help clear it up. Oh, you can now make a choice? Yes, I'll help. Oh, now you want it. <laughs> All right, I'm coming. I Before don't have a... Phone call rule is for real policing. You worthless... <laughs> <laughs> I don't That's even have a car. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, interestingly, I was going to go and see Lester, but I don't think we're going to do that now. We need to help our wife. She's in that in a, in a store. Now she needs you. Yeah, now she needs you, Michael. Now she needs you. Aww. At least he's wanted in this situation. It's better than not being wanted. <laughs> and if we actually go and help her, maybe this will go a little bit towards repairing their relationship as well. I'm always like so naively hopeful. Oh, I just, I do hope that they are able to work things out. Michael is a fantastic guy. I don't know what her problem is. I really don't know what her problem is just silly she's just she's just silly actually you know what maybe she's bored so she acts out like this you had that opportunity i said get off me you stupid bastard where is she i told you she's a biter that's a can you please step back sir that's a saw on top of the shop lifting beat man the paperwork she's at the back of the what you packing you know, standard LSPD issue 9 mil. Sweet. I gotta get some hardware. The store detective's a detective, you know. Kind of. <laughs> no, it's I'm gonna not. take her into booking. I'm gonna take the car. He's got my car! <laughs> okay! Hit the gas! Let's go! Oh, another cop here. chase. Chill awesome! Out. It's under control. Can we just go home? The cops are still Oh, I know. Relax, I got this. I don't. It's not like I can't see that. Let's go, Michael. Don't <laughs> worry. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> he does know what he's doing. He's awesome. Oh Drive, no. Michael. I'm on top oh of it. crap! We have um helicopters too. Um, they're gonna spot me. Yeah, they spotted me. Shit! They're still on us. Chill out. It's under control. <laughs> That's fine. We've got this. Don't you worry, your They're pretty little head. I'm on top of it. Hello? No seatbelt? Well, put one on. Go, 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 go! Chill out. It's under control. Alright, stars are flashing. I do not want to go to prison. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> he does know. I have every faith in Michael. Come on, come on, I wish come that on. she did as well. I'm on top of it. Uh oh. Cops, cops. This this is fine. We're gonna lose them very, very, very soon. Oh, this Okay. Highway it is. You trying to kill me back here? <laughs> come on, they should be off. Is that yes. it? Are they gone? Of course they're gone. Who are you talking to? <laughs> Come on, take you back to the house. Aww, that's so sweet, actually. Don't say it. What? That I have everything I want, so why am I stealing? Oh, my lips are sealed. Because if you say that, I'll say the same to you. 
I'm not saying anything. I'm just doing my best to keep us out of jail. Can we drive home, please? I mean, who are you to judge me? Oh, I'm not judging? No, not at all. <laughs> You're loving this, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Risking prison, <laughs> getting shot at. Love, love, big love. <laughs> he wasn't even so judging her. Like to be you. Uh, not really, honey. <laughs> See, I'm a semi-successful crook. <laughs> You're a bit of a failure, but hey, kudos for trying. Not that successful if you're in witness protection. Well, I've got an idea. Why don't we see what Agent Dave and the FIB think of this lovers on the run at? Where are you going? You I'm... know, I'm sort of thankful for this. Thankful? This is the worst day of my life. Ah, oh, come on, you're doing your part. Your spending <laughs> habits have got us into a sticky financial situation, so you're cutting corners. Really? My spending habits? I've seen your day trader account. Oh, hey, that's private. I swear, password protection, it ain't even <laughs> sacred no more. Give it up. You pissed our savings down the toilet. Really? Our savings? Yeah, our savings. I gave up everything to start this life with you, you selfish shit. Yeah, <laughs> okay, all right, whatever. Our savings. It's just, look, you can't look at the day-by-day -day figures. You gotta look at the overall, the, you know, the net figure. I've seen the net. It's a fucking disgrace. <laughs> hey, I'm bringing it around. Sure you are. Just please give me some warning before they repossess. <laughs> it ain't that bad. Couple of weeks. A day even. I don't want to be there. Honey, we're fine. Sure. Are we going home? Yes, we're going home. What the fuck? I think she is just bored with her life. That's why she is shoplifting did she actually take something she must have for her to get arrested in the back of the car get rid of the car michael it can't stay in the driveway <laughs> oh and yeah thank you get rid of the car i guess we do need to get rid of it <laughs> oh, i love that Mission pass. Do I get like? To, can I expand that at all? No. Oh, I wanted to expand that. Come well, on. I'm gonna put it. I'm just gonna put it out on the road. It could just stay there. <laughs> That's terrible. Well, okay, guys. I think I'm gonna leave this episode here. I loved it. I had such a great time. It was awesome. I really enjoyed getting to chat to Lester and do that little job for him, though it was really shocking seeing exactly what he did. But at least now we have a friend in the Life Invader office who is going to be able to help us out on heists and things like that so that is going to be actually really good and when we met Packy so he's someone else that's going to help us out on a heist too so now we have two people that we know of to help out I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode I have loved it it has been so much fun something that I know that Mr. J has spoken about and that is to start the Epsilon missions I did Google that and it costs uh, a lot of money to start them up and we're not exactly wealthy right now so I was wondering if that's something that I should hold off on. So I am aware of the Epsilon missions or Epsilon, I don't know, I'm very bad at pronouncing things but I'm probably just going to wait until I have a little bit more money before starting those up. All right, guys, that's it for this episode. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you again really soon in the next video. Bye.